Hello, beautiful. <laughs> you look ravishing today. Thank you so much for being here. We're watching some girls with natural curly, curly hair bleach their entire heads blonde. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, well, that doesn't sound like a good idea. Well, you're sort of right because natural hair is so dry and bleach dries out hair. Those two together, it's just not a good idea. A lot of the time the hair gets fried, it gets wrecked, it gets ruined in just some way, shape or form. But sometimes when things go right and the hair is taken care of properly, magical things happen happen. These girls get the most beautiful makeovers and something about curly hair with say a highlight or very light blonde curly hair, you can see all that depth inside the hair when it's so lightened, which just makes it look so much curlier and fluffier and the light reflection is so much higher that the hair just shines and glistens. So I'm excited today to see some girls transform their hair from dark to light. Let's get started. Oh, yeah, I have brown hair now. <laughs> For all you guys that say, hey, brunettes, well, that's weird. I am one of you. No, actually, I started like coloring my hair darker and then darker and then darker and darker. Probably next time you see me, I'll have black hair. I don't know what's going on. I never thought I would like it. It's been like four years, five years of platinum blonde hair and it was time for a change. I'm feeling myself, okay? So our first video is by Golden Glampire and this is called How I Bleached and Toned My Natural Virgin Hair from Black to blonde. We got a virgin here. This could go really well or really, really bad, but she does have virgin hair. It's gonna be a much easier process than if she had color on her hair prior to doing this. So let's see what happens. First, I'm gonna be using the spray bottle that I got from Sally to moisten my hair. I hate to see her bleach her hair because her hair is so beautiful and so healthy. Maybe it's just time for a change, you know? We all need a change in our lives. I'm brunette. Who would have thought that would have happened? As I finger detangle it and saturate it in coconut oil. I'm not sure that there is really studies that say putting oil in your hair is going to protect it. When you think about hair color scientifically, I'm not really sure oil is going to do anything to really protect your ends from damage because oil just really puts a coat of hydration over your hair and bleach is designed to really eat through your hair and anything that's on it in order to get into the cortex and remove all of that pigment. So I'm not really sure oil is gonna save any of your hair or do anything really that drastically different to help it. But a bond builder would, just putting that out there. Be sure to take your time with this step and to not use a comb. You don't wanna agitate the scalp. That's also important. Do not agitate the scalp because it will burn. For the bleach mixture, you wanna make sure- you And we're using blue bleach. flash. I used four scoops of the bleach, eight ounces of 30 volume developer. 30 volume is good for her. She has level five brown hair. It's pretty dark. She's gonna need that good amount of lift on that virgin hair in order to get it to platinum blonde. So far, so great. Starting at the lower half of my hair. I'm making sure not to get it on my roots. Why? Even about an inch. Why? Worth the space from the scalp untouched because I'm going to bleach my roots at the very last stage of the final bleaching. We process. love her. Tell us why you do that. You already know. You've heard me say it a million times. The roots process faster because of the heat from your scalp. She's killing this. I think the outcome is gonna be fabulous and I am ready for it. It looks it's so good. In the front. Yes. I wouldn't be mad if she just left it like this. I would love that. The front of my hair has a different- Looks incredible. Uh, curl pattern in the back and plus the front has more manipulation. What I'm going to do the next bleaching is start at the front with the 20 volume developer in that way. Great idea. It will even itself out without overly processing. So using a 20 volume developer on her roots is a great idea because she doesn't need all that power that she put on her ends with that 30 volume because she has the heat from her scalp to really push that lightener and lift her hair to a high level. But she did say she was gonna start in the front of her hair next. I understand she doesn't wanna break off the back of her hair. Maybe she's gonna overlap everything, I don't know. The front of your hair 
hair is the most fragile, most fine part of your hair usually. So when you're starting there, you're gonna get a lot more breakage and letting the lightener sit the longest on the front of your hair is not the best idea. Usually in the salon, we hit the front last if we're doing a double process like this. So we're going in with another round of lightener. Okay, now I get what she's saying. So she's not touching up her root yet. She's going in with that lightener again on all of her mid links and ends in order to get her hair to a lighter level. And then after that, she's gonna go in on her roots and process that after. We might have a hairstylist on our hands right now. I think this girl knows what she's doing and I think the outcome is gonna be great. And before I started the second bleaching, I covered my hair in coconut oil. Yes, we also, love the trash bag. <laughs> and I'm gonna make sure- We're doing the roots, man. I saturate my roots really well. We love the thorough job she is doing. Dude, this might be an amazing, fabulous, perfect transformation. <gasps> I'm gonna start massaging it into my scalp. Massage it, girl. My hair is really thick. You know, normally I would say don't massage it into your scalp. Don't use your hands to apply lightener, especially without gloves on. Where are your gloves? Do you need me to send you some gloves? You know, you don't want to agitate the scalp at all because lightener is going to deteriorate your scalp. It's going to wreck your skin. So we really try to avoid the scalp as much as possible, but um, she does have very thick hair and this would take her forever to do herself with a brush and a bowl. I don't blame her for doing her hands, okay? So right now, I'm just showing you the color before I actually leak out. So far, it was looking a little bit uneven, I must say. What's going on there, girl? I hope she's gonna tone this with something good, and then hopefully it'll all turn out just fabulous and great. But I don't know. Holy sh! This actually looks I'm saturating my hair decent. Which... Now, with the perfect glaze or toner, this outcome can be magical. This could be fabulous, but I'm not sure if we're gonna get a really good toner here. We might just use like purple shampoo or something, I'm gonna guess, but I've been wrong before and I don't mind being wrong again. Now the toner, T18. T18 is just not gonna be dark enough to combat that yellow orange color you have going on. Something a little bit darker would've been great. Also, T18 is like permanent color. Putting permanent color over your blonde is just never a good idea. I used to be T18 addict, and then I realized just how bad it was for my hair, and I stopped using it. A dummy permanent color is gonna be a lot more beneficial when you have blonde hair. Like a level eight on her would be perfect, not a level 12. 12, 10, whatever you want to call it. All right, let's just wish her the oh, best of luck with this. Hairline and the part that I made. Because she is using 20 volume developer with it, it is going to have a bit of a lightning situation going on and then depositing. So we might get a decent outcome. I'm just still very unsure of this. At least she's being precise, girl. She is working it. And then I'm parting the actual hair and still doing the roots first. T18 always looks so purple and dark when it's processing and then you wash it off and it's like, nothing happened. Uh, what happened? So the toner is rinsed out now. It's still a little gold and- What a surprise! <laughs> you can see a big difference. It's definitely different. Is it good? I would have to say no. Could it be so much better with a level eight toner? Yes. Throw an ash level eight on there. You will look so fabulous, all right? <gasps> I like it. I just wish it was the right tone for her. She is very cool toned, especially with this makeup. Doing a more ash tone color would just would look so much more polished and incredible. We need to get that yellow out, we need to. If it were me doing your hair and we ended up with that kind of yellow tone, I probably would have hit your roots with like a level seven neutral ash and then done your ends in a level eight ash, something like that to really bring your roots down and not make you like a total double process. I think you still need that kind of depth in your hair. I think it looks really good. With with curls. We're not at a level 10. Next time, a little bit darker of a toner would have been great. And then your hair would have turned out perfect or nearly perfect. But Golden Glampire, you did kind of kill it. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you for that video and let's move on. Our next video is by Simply Michelle. This video is called How to Bleach Natural Hair at Home. Teach me how to do it, Michelle. I can't f wait. <laughs> 
Sorry. Okay, so we're starting off with hair that is pre-lightened on the ends. Her roots look like they have grown out a bit and she is trying to bring it all up a few levels. So I'm gonna be using the B2W. BW2. Um, powder <laughs> along with um, a 20, 20 volume. volume. Honestly guys, I should have used a 30, but yeah. I'm really worried about um, over prospects in my hair. You need that 30 man on those ends. It's just really gonna kick it into high gear and get that lift going and we love lift. We want that hair to just go. <laughs> we're done, we're bright, we're blonde. Ooh, ooh, ee, 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 ooh, 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 ooh. Ah. However, I like her sectioning. I'm glad she's doing that. BW2 is strong. I actually love BW2. I haven't used it in years because it makes me nervous that their hair is gonna fry off, but it does do the job very well. So for this first time processing, I went Just starting on those ends. We love that. The back of my hair first because the back of my head takes the longest to process. Because the back of your hair is usually the most dense, the most thick. Okay, so she is continuing to go in. Now these are rather large sections she's using. I'd rather her use sections that are a little smaller. Half an inch is probably max that I would go. Because you really want to get that lightener just seeping into that hair. We want plenty of lightener on the hair. We want it fully coated. We want it fully dripping. We want it soaked in lightener. We want to bathe in that sh We want it to be all over our heads like shampoo. Except lightener doesn't lather. Bleach does not lather, okay? When you're scrubbing your damn heads, making these damn videos, like what are you doing with that Okay, so she is working her way around. We're gonna see what happens in a moment. How good of a lightning job she did. Looks a little patchy. <laughs> oh my God, Michelle, you had red in your hair. So red is gonna be really hard to get out. Oh, so this changes up real quick matter of seconds we can go from oh this is gonna be good to this is gonna be real bad so she had red dye in her hair apparently um so now we're getting a ton of orange exposed because the bleach is breaking through that barrier of the red and it's exposing that orange undertone and that is probably not gonna come out of your hair so good luck with that one re-bleach my hair again yeah and let's I go back in for the darker layers of my hair um the more orangier parts of my hair just to try to get it to a lighter shade of blonde or kind of almost to a yellow just because it'll be easier for me to tone. Towards the end of me bleaching, I realized that I ran out of bleach and I no. thought I had enough bleach, but no. I didn't. So one side of my hair was just a tad bit darker no. than the other. <laughs> ah, we the what is it? There's literally a black spot in the back of her head, right in the front. People always miss this, right in the front. I don't know how, but everybody misses it. There's a lot going on on this one head of hers, and it's probably gonna be quite impossible to fix. Twenty developer for this, just to like make sure my hair was like gonna be good, and I just feel safer. So I let my hair kind of just do its own thing for a few days, and then I went to the store and got me some color remover because I had a lot of brass color remover hair. and I know a lot of this brass was mainly coming from me having the red I don't believe that at this point now that you've already lightened your hair twice I don't think color remover works on top of lightened hair I don't have a ton of experience with color removers I don't often use them I often use bleach instead there's some kind of chemical reaction that has to go on in the hair with the color remover and I think if you apply the bleach first First, and then try to remove the color after. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work at all. They fight with each other and it just doesn't happen. 90% sure that that's true. You should use the color remover before lightening. And it was kind of like fighting all of that red undertones that was still in my hair just from like the hair dye. No, oh, it looks dark. It's, it's dark cool. still. And I went ahead and did this process twice. I went ahead and re-bleached my hair one last time. Oh. I didn't the bleach stay on there that long. I just wanted to uh, help the side that didn't get as much. Yo, the amount of money she probably just spent on this is enough to go to a salon. She did like four processes of lightener, two color removers, two toners, a lot going on. After rinsing off my hair and getting all the bleach out, I went ahead and toned my hair again. 
using the that's the third time toning Wella, okay. the wella charm toner and i'm using the color t18 it's like the lightest blonde color it's not gonna do and anything you guys clean. you have to have level 10 hair which is like the inside of a banana it's like a very very pale yellow in order to use t18 so i like to sit on my hair for about 30 to 45 minutes and then i go ahead and rinse this out my hair and this is the final look. It doesn't look terrible. She is a very beautiful girl. As you guys can see, this is the Oh! Result. I'm very, 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 very happy. I actually really like it. <laughs> I'm actually really happy. Natural lighting and everything like that because I have the, um, my artificial lights right here, so it's lighting me. But in actual lighting, it is more of an ashier blonde color and it's not as orange or whatever, but I am loving my blonde. Okay, so actually I really enjoy the sort of brassy, orange, copper tone she has going on. It really complements her skin. It makes her look so healthy and beautiful, fabulous. Up until that very end point, I thought this was going to look terrible. She looks so good. Yes, Simply Michelle, you killed the sh Yes, 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 yes. Good, I love it. She looks Amazing. All right, our next and final video of natural hair being lightened is by Fearless Tony, and it's how to safely bleach hair, platinum blonde, how to bleach hair, natural hair, oh, how to get white hair, more or less, that's the title. Hey everyone, let's just jump right into it. Let's jump into it. I'm gonna apply coconut oil. We love the coconut oil moment, we do. Oil throughout my entire head. So you'll need a... Not convinced that it helps. Ooh! Ooh. And I'm gonna use the 30 volume developer. Ooh. So she's using Cream Developer, and I am obsessed with Cream Developer. And this is a newer discovery in the past year of my life. Cream Developers are magical. Their lightning power is insane. They never dry out, they don't crumble. They're beautiful, they're amazing. And I don't know why more people don't use it. She's also using 30 volume. We love it. This is going to turn out fantastic. I can already feel it. So all you all I'm doing here is applying my gloves. And she's using gloves loves. We love her. This transformation is going to be sick. Come on. You can do it. 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 <laughs> She's so scared. Oh, no going back now. <laughs> well, you could actually. My entire head. You can wash it off, but. I'm gonna use the ends of the applicator. I wouldn't have started in the front. Like I said before, start in the back. This is always where it gets the most orange and stays the most orange for a long period of time for whatever reason. The hair is just the thickest here. It's the most coarse hair. The front is the most fragile. Do that last. So let's discuss quickly safety measures when bleaching your hair. Let's do it. As you saw, I did use the coconut oil, the cream bleach, the Ion Absolute Perfection, Step one, and also the Sensitive Scalp 30 Volume Developer. I didn't use 40 because I wanted control over my bleaching process. You know what's weird about 40 volume is I never felt like it did more than 30. It makes the hair lighten incredibly fast and then it just like stops. I don't know. I've never really found a use for 40 volume in my life. Besides like high lift colors that definitely I feel like works a bit better. But 30 volume, I could live with 10, 20, and 30 for the rest of my life and never look back. I hardly ever touch 40. It's just not good for much. So here you can see the top of my hair. So it's starting to lift. Woo! But I'm making sure I get my entire head covered with this bleach. 45 probably would have been good for her hair. It was super dark. You want to let that process for the max amount of time, which maybe actually it was. Maybe the directions did say 30 minutes, but I don't know. I would have left it on for 45 probably. That's just me. Let's see it. Let's see it. Yes, it did turn yellow. Oh! Yes, it is yellow. Yeah, it's yellow. I thought it was gonna look really good. Please tell me we're lightning right, again. So, gotta bleach it again. Oh, we're lightning again. We're going in there. We're getting that punch a little more lightener, which is going to be perfect for her. Hopefully it'll turn out nice and bright white after the second round. I am not surprised she needed two rounds of bleach. She, her, her hair was like a level four. It was dark, it was pigmented. It wasn't going to lighten. You could have already seen that coming in the beginning. This is a little better. 
Okay. Yes! A little better? That is a whole lot better and it looks amazing. See, that is a level 10. It looks great. Now she's ready. She can use T18 if she really wants to. However, I still don't think that's the best uh, idea, but you know, everybody seems to want to use T18 for some reason. You know, try something else. What I'm gonna do is Tony. I'm gonna use the T18 and 20 volume developer. Oh God, that's gonna burn. Out. Using 20 volume developer with your toner is painful. Painful after you just lightened your hair and your scalp is raw, you're now gonna put 20 volume developer on it. Your head is going to flake. Get that well, toner on there. About four minutes in, it started tangling. Yeah. So here you see it turning a little purplish. Oh, and she's massaging it in. Oh, your poor scalp is going okay. to hit you. Now I'm using a step two. And now this is what I have. I like the purple. She should have done lavender full on. That would have been incredible. <gasps> Dude, that looks so good. She looks so amazing. At least one girl killed it. I love that cut she has in the side too. Tony, great job on that. You looked in. Incredible, you killed it, girl. That was so satisfying. Thank you for that. Oh, okay, so <laughs> we saw some incredible outcomes. Well, more like just one incredible one. There's just something so magical about natural hair that excites me so much. The more hair, the better, you know? I just wanna get my hands in the hair and just touch it and play with it. I loved seeing the transformations and they all looked great. I was being critical, of course, because that's what I do. All of them did a pretty decent job for it being at home. That's not easy to do. It's such a long and difficult process. The last girl definitely nailed it. I was impressed. That was super fun to watch. Thank you guys for those videos. And don't forget to follow me on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, at BradMondoNYC. And don't forget to follow my hair care brand, Xmondo Hair, and check out our new fabulous, amazing products linked below at xmondohair.com to get beautiful, glowing, fabulous hair. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye.